All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Rich from Random Motorsports, and today we have a uh, new project and a new person to introduce. He might have been in the last video a little bit, but uh, hello, I'm this Quinn. Is Quinn. And Quinn, what do you have here today? We have 1996 Volkswagen Cabrio. So this here is Quinn's little Cabrio. Fun story about this car. This was actually sitting right down the road from my house. Been staring at it for two years now. And we got a uh, chance to pick it up. And well, Quinn, what's your plans for this thing? We're going to put the motor that comes out of the Mark V, five, uh, five cylinder motor, into here. So we're pulling out the good old 2 0 and dropping in a Jetta five cylinder. That'll be fun. All right, well, first things first, this thing is filthy. Like, really dirty. Crusty. Yeah, and the engine bay is even worse. So before we even start pulling the motor out, we're going to uh, get this thing cleaned up. Let's just take a look at this intake manifold here. Get to some degreaser on that. No. <laughs> I think I also got water on the camera. Yeah, it's okay. I'll move the camera back a little bit more. There we go. Try to watch and see what it looks. <laughs> okay. Still a very dirty engine. Do you want to prep the foam cannon, Quinn? Oh, it should be all set ready. Oh, it's already got shit in it? Yeah, it's that same shit, it's just a little... So I think you're only supposed to use that a little bit. Foam cannon me. Thing, instead of looking like a uh, neglected cabrio, will just look like a beat up cabrio. There is a slight uh, issue with the top. Just slight. Slight. Yeah, like. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not perfect, <laughs> but it is a cabrio.
Uh, and now this thing actually has some shine to it. I'm sure that'll all go away shortly. Alright, so now with the car clean, the goal is we're going to start prepping to pull the motor out. So because it's a Volkswagen, we're going to actually take this whole front end off and we're going to go from there. Uh, so Quinn's going to start pulling off the bumper, headlights, grill, core support. Um, and obviously the bumper crash bar and anything else that's in the front end. Also the turn signal slash fog lights. It does have projector fogs, which is kind of cool. One of them is broken, but oh well. Um, yeah, so we're going to get started on that. Just give it a kick. Would you like the paper? Or the seat? Probably the seat. When this uh, grill isn't secured by much. <laughs> I think the last time I did mine, I secured it by zip ties. On my Mark IV. Yeah, seems right. <laughs> Held in by clips. I, don't know. I know, I know that bottom piece that's separate. Uh, no, it's not. Not on this. That came off too easily. <laughs> Oh yeah, probably from there. You can probably see the bolts for that like, Yeah. Some more eight mils. Probably some under the headlight as well. You seem too visible. I'm sure there's an easier way, and the Volkswagen people will tell us how to properly do this the quick and easy way, but... I thought I was a Volkswagen person. Nothing like this. Exactly. <laughs> it's probably like a thing where you just pull like four bolts and the whole thing comes off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wouldn't spread. Okay, so we're just about to pull the bumper cover off, leaving all the little marker lights and fog lights in. To get to this point, we have, there's a nut behind here on this bracket. On each side, we got three bolts at the top, uh, four bolts, maybe five, I think one was already missing, on the bottom. Um, I did undid all the electrical connectors. Um, looks like it makes it pretty easy to come apart. Um, and then Quinn's just over here disconnecting the marker light, which I believe he just did. Are we good to go? Uh, so I can get disconnected. Let me try again. Okay. So right down here we got the marker light connector. It's hard to get the side There we off. go. Got it. Yep. Okay. And now we're about to just pull this bumper cover off. Let me just uh, put the camera down so that I can actually be helpful. Looks like it should just should just pull right off. Oh. Okay. And that is a Volkswagen Cabrio bumper cover removed. Next, we're going to pull off the core support. Looks like I had an angle now. Okay. 
and the cork port is removed. So, next steps, we're going to pull the radiator and condenser out. Um, but we might want to leave that just so we can still move the car easily. Up to you, Quinn. Um, leave one in. Do we want to like pull the motor today? You can pull it today. Alright, so let's get to pulling the motor. But, I am going to stop this video here. Um, the motor pulling will be a new video. And we're also going to probably power wash the engine bay yet again. But, for now, that's all we got. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.